Shampoos, like many foaming products, contain chemicals called surfactants. Surfactants are great for getting grease out of your hair, but are also great for putting out fires. Certain types of fires, specifically fuel pool fires, are best put out using a foam. Examples of fuel pool fires include burning jet fuel on a runway, or even grease fires in a kitchen pan. Surfactant containing firefighting foams flow out of nozzles and float on top of burning fuel surfaces. The foam acts as a barrier between the fuel and the flame above, smothering the flame. While both shampoos and firefighting foams contain surfactants, the surfactant chemical structure in firefighting foams is unique. The structure contains fluorine, and this specific surfactant chemical structure is environmentally harmful. We want to replace fluorine surfactants with environmentally friendly alternatives, but we want to make sure that the fire still goes out quickly. So can we put out fires using shampoo? If not, what other surfactant chemical structures might we use to put out fires? To determine the firefighting potential of new environmentally friendly surfactants, we developed an experiment measuring the carbon dioxide concentration during fire extinction. Burning fuel generates the gas carbon dioxide. As the flame goes out, the production of carbon dioxide decreases. By measuring changes in carbon dioxide concentration, we can measure the effectiveness of a foam suppressing a fire. We evaluated foams each containing a unique surfactant. We evaluated two environmentally friendly alternatives, a surfactant in shampoo and a silicon surfactant. We also evaluated a fluorine surfactant currently found in firefighting foams. From the time-lapse images, you can see that the fluorine foam extinguished the fire the fastest in under 20 seconds. The silicon foam took longer and shampoo didn't extinguish the fire at all. Although we see differences in extinction time around 20 to 30 seconds, measured carbon dioxide data, also shown under each time-lapse image, shows differences in performance in as little as 10 seconds. Surfactants have an impact on fire suppression almost as soon as the foam hits the fuel surface, giving us an insight into their role in fire suppression. Although we did not find an alternative with matched extinction performance to the fluorine foam, continued testing will allow us to develop trends between surfactant structure and fire extinction. This knowledge can then be used to optimize surfactant structure for improved fire suppression and environmental safety.